What's up guys? My name is Chris Nelson. I'm here at beautiful Pier Park in Portland, Oregon. Joined by my buddy Colin Hayden and we're going to give you guys a little in the bag for my 2023 season. Uh, to start, I just want to thank Levi and Pound for hooking me up with this sweet new Octohaul. It's got everything I need. It can hold two water bottles, plenty of discs, and these straps keep it all super lightweight on my back. So thank you to Pound. And of course my other sponsors, Top Flight, run by Zach Todd, and Innova for making all the discs that I throw in my bag. All right, <clears throat> let's get started. Putting putters, I putt with Nate Sexton Firefly. I've been putting with these for almost a year now. I made the switch from Innova XDs uh, last April of 2022. Uh, the reason I made the switch was just really basically just because of the wind. Uh, I needed a putter that I could trust putting the same way and not uh, just get busted out by the wind all the time. So these fireflies are exactly what I was looking for. They feel low profile enough to where I don't have to change my grip. Uh, they have nice glide, but at the same time, any little wind isn't gonna affect them too much. So Sexton Nexus Fireflies, my go-to putter. Approach discs, we'll start with backhand. Uh, I've had a Conrad AVR in my bag for the last couple years for my backhand straight shots. Anything I'd say 200 and in that I want to make sure sits, sits at the ground where it hits, I'm gonna be reaching for my Conrad AVR. This thing is dead straight, even a little turn to it now as it's a couple years old. Uh, it's just what I need for those kind of tight wooded shots where I'm not the best at powering down on my discs so I can still throw this disc hard and know it's not gonna go too far past the basket. Uh, my other kind of backhand approach disc is the Pig. This started out as a forehand disc for me, but it's a couple years old now, so I'm throwing this as a backhand disc. Uh, it's nice and beat in to straight, but it also has that nice Pig finish at the end. So our pro Pig. Uh, a new disc to my bag this year and a new disc to the end of a lineup is the Toro. Um, I just got one of these champ ones in the bag. Uh, from what I've thrown, these champ runs are the most stable runs. Um, but just think of it, you know, like any other forehand approach disc, zone, whatever you want to think of. Uh, Toro, I mostly throw it for uh, Pierheiser <laughs> approach shots. Um, I can throw it back in if I want. This thing's nice and dumpy, so it's also not going to go too far. Uh, stepping up from the Toro, a disc that probably all Innova sponsored players are going to have in their bag, is a Gator. Uh, I'm pretty much only throwing my Gators forehand. I have a straighter, kind of more beat in one, and I also have a very stable Withers Gator. Probably the best run since 2018. Uh, but yeah, you guys know what these do. Gators, they're gonna dump, they're not gonna go far, they're gonna be great into a headwind. Uh, so, yeah, if you're in of a sponsored player, you're gonna be throwing a gator. Throwing putters. My throwing putter is the Star Stud. Scott Withers got me on these back in, I wanna say 2019, uh, but they're exactly what I'm looking for. They're pretty low profile, so they fit in my hands nice. I can throw these anywhere from 250 to 300 feet, maybe even a little further if I really want to. Uh, I have my red one, that's my older one. It's a little straighter, not really a flippy, I, I wouldn't call it a flippy disc, because um, I can throw it hard and it's not gonna turn. But if I need a disc, or if I'm throwing a shot where I don't wanna go further, too much further than 300 feet, uh, I'm gonna reach for the star stud. My purple one in my bag is newer. It's a little domier, as you can see, and it's just my more stable version of the stud. Uh, if there's any headwind, I'll be reaching for the purple one and sit there. 
the red one. Alright, on to mids. We'll start with st stable mid. Um, this is kind of a newer disc in my bag since I got sponsored by Innova and it's the Rock X3. Rock X3 is board flat. It's just a more stable version of a Rock 3. Uh, I was really looking for something that I know and trust and I can trust into a headwind and that is this disc. It's not gonna flip. It's really just gonna go out straight and then dump at the end. Um, I'm probably reaching for this disc for any nowhere further than 330. Um, and if it needs to go further than that, I'll probably throw a different mid, but yeah, Rock X3, nice and dependable. Uh, a new disc in my bag this year and a newer disc from Innova is the, the J. So I bag both the Star, or well, the Star and the Champion. Um, this Star one is a little bit older now. It's like maybe almost a year old. So my Star J is dead straight, perfect for any of those wood shots or if I'm looking for a straight shot around 350 feet, I'll reach for the J. Uh, the Champion J, this is a little more stable. So again, kind of a theme in my bag. I like to have a, a straighter one and a more stable one for if any conditions uh, or if I just need something that's gonna hook a little bit more at the end, I'll go with the Champion J. But these things are great. Just think of them as an MD3, uh, just a nice beaded mid-range that I can throw and trust in pretty much anything under 350 feet. Uh, the next mid-range in my bag is a Color Glow Chariot. This thing is a couple years old now, so it's got that nice little turn. I'm primarily going to be throwing this on dead straight shots where I need to release a disc on Kaiser and I want it to stay straight pretty much the entire flight. Uh, or if I need a little right bend, but not too much, I'm gonna be reaching for this Color Glow Chariot. And then the last mid-range that I bag, and this is a disc that's been in my bag ever since I can remember, uh, is a Mako 3. This is the Star version. Uh, I primarily only throw Champion or Star, but a Star Mako 3 is gonna do one thing and one thing only, which is to go right. So I'm gonna be throwing this thing I can throw it as far left as I want, and I know that it's only going to come back to the right. And one thing I love about the Mako 3 is that it doesn't tend to turn into cut rollers. It's really good at kind of holding that slight turnover line and just finish all the way to the right. So Mako 3, fantastic disc. start with flippy kind of go from there so my flippiest fairway and my roller disc right now is a star roadrunner uh, this is one I got from Scott this is the 2018 Barsby run uh, this thing is sweet pretty much only throw for rollers um, or if I need some sort of crazy understable shot but perfect roller disc. I can kind of just get it out there on that roller angle and it gets to the ground nicely. Next up uh, is the Innova Hawkeye. This is pretty new to my bag. Um, basically just think of it as an FD. It's gonna be nice and flippy. If I need those straight, kind of tight wood shots, I'll reach for my FD, but I don't throw this a whole lot uh, just cause it is pretty flippy. Next, uh, one of my go-to fairways. This is a Halo TL3. Uh, I've had this disc basically since they released the Halo TL3 back in, I think, early 2001. Uh, this is the first one I put in my bag and it hasn't left since. This thing is exactly what I'm looking for in a fairway. I can throw it on any angle, doesn't really matter. It's gonna hold that angle. Uh, if I wanted to go dead straight in the woods, just pretty much throw it with a touch of hyzer and it's gonna flip up and hold that straight pretty much the whole way. Uh, I can't recommend this disc enough. Halo TL3, if you're someone that throws with a little slower arm speed, get yourself a Champ or a Star Run. They're a little less stable, but they do the exact same thing and you're gonna love them, trust me. Halo TL3. Um, 
next, I do have a couple Firebirds in my bag. Uh, right now I'm only carrying two. I'll kind of mix between carrying three, three Firebirds or two, depending on kind of the course and what I need. Uh, my <clears throat> my go-to Firebird right now is the Haley King Halo Firebird. These things, again, obviously I love the plastic. Halo is probably my favorite plastic Innova's making right now. Uh, but the Halo Firebirds, these aren't crazy stable. Uh, this pink one came out, it was pretty much uh, kind of straight out of the box, I would say, for a Firebird. Uh, which is what I'm looking for. I don't have the craziest forehand power. I don't need anything crazy stable. So this this Firebird I can throw on a lot of different angles forehand and it's gonna fly for me at the uh, 300 to 330 foot range uh, is where I like to throw my Firebirds. But I can also throw this thing backhand pretty confidently uh, for any kind of dumpy 330 foot shots where I know my mid range aren't gonna get that left fade that I need so Halo Firebird another great run uh, I do carry another Firebird in my bag again kind of on par for what I like to carry in my bag I got my straighter one and then I got my overstable run so this is a 12 time Kenny board flat Firebird uh, this is one of the older runs and this thing does one thing and one thing only which is fly over stable so if I'm throwing if I'm throwing forehand, it's gonna come out of that forehand flight super fast. Uh, anything into a headwind, I can reach for this disc and I know it's pretty much gonna be untouched. So, stable Firebird. Disc I don't throw a whole lot, but it's a Color Glow T-Bird 3. This is a disc um, that kind of overlaps with a couple others that I mentioned. The Halo TL3 and this disc are pretty similar. I'd say I'd reach for this disc over the TL3 if I just need that extra distance. This is a little bit faster, um, but it pretty much flies the same way. I'm only really throwing this disc in woods where I need to hit lines. Uh, in terms of distance, I would really, really be reaching for a, a T3. But still a nice disc to have in the bag. that I will be reaching for a lot this year uh, is the Phantom Sword from Innova, also known as the Star PD. Uh, I carry three in the bag virtually all the time, kind of the same thing, uh, different stabilities. So start with my least stable one. Uh, this is the Star Phantom Sword from Innova. This came out last year. It's exactly what I'm looking for in a PD. It's got a little bit of dome, but it's still stiff. Uh, I can throw this thing uh, in the woods, in the open. If I need to hit a line, doesn't matter. I can still reach for my PD, which is why it's one of my favorite discs, if not my absolute favorite. Um, because if I need to hit a line, I'll reach for this disc. If I don't, I can reach for this disc and still throw them almost as far as my destroyers. So, Star PD, a great 10 speed kind of feels like that Thunderbird flight and stability, but I think this is exactly what a Thunderbird wants to be. So, Phantom Sword, I carry two more. This red one has been in my bag at pretty much the same time as that green one. It has now beaten into my straight PD. Uh, this is probably the one I'll reach for the most this year, just cause I, my type, my preferred shot is that kind of like straight flex shot which is exactly what this PD is for. This will fly up to 450 feet if I really want to push it that far. But usually I'm just grabbing it to throw it a nice 425. I know what angle I need to put it on and how hard I need to throw it to get it to where it needs to go. So, Champ PD and then finally my overstable PD. Again, Champion. This one's a little domier, nice luster and stiff. Uh, Again, this is what I'll be reaching for if there's any headwind or if I need that kind of more stable flight in a PD, reach for my stable PD. All right, last but not least, my distance drivers. Like most Innova players, I think, I'm throwing the Star Destroyer for my distance driver. Uh, my flippiest Star Destroyer is this old three-line AJ. 
uh, kind of the crown jewel of destroyers, but this is my just absolute bomber disc. I'll reach, I really only reach for this in a field where I got a lot of airspace because I'm gonna need to kind of throw it out to the left and let it do its thing in the air. Or if I need a hyzer flip, this thing is gonna flip up to flat and just ride straight. Uh, but obviously three line AJ, can't go wrong. Uh, next up, this is a disc that I've been throwing uh, for almost all of my distance drives the last couple years. This is a 2021 Halo Destroyer uh, from the Calvin Tour Series. Um, <clears throat> this thing is nice and beaten at this point to where it's not that stable. Um, so if I'm throwing it flat, it's going to get a little bend to it to the right and then obviously dump to the left as a destroyer does. Uh, but this will be kind of my go-to distance driver as long as it's not too windy uh, If the wind does pick up, you know, I have a backup. So same thing same run uh, Calvin 2021 this is just more stable So if there's any wind or anything like that I'm gonna throw this into the wind and it shouldn't be as affected as much as my pink one And last but not least we got the Elixir from Innova. This is the PD2, Power Disc 2, whatever you want to call it. Uh, this is obviously for my most overstable distance driver slot. Uh, if there's really any headwind or any stiff headwind uh, and I need to make sure my disc does not flip, I'll be throwing the Elixir or a PD2. And that's pretty much all I got in my bag. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate uh, you guys, you know, having some interest in what I'm bagging for this year. Uh, please keep an eye out for some uh, Chris Nelson merch from Top Flight and maybe even a Chris Nelson disc coming out soon. Thanks, guys. guys, Colin here with CH Sports. I just wanted to give a huge shout out to my coverage sponsors. These videos would not be able to come to life without these people's help, so I really appreciate it. There's plans starting as low as $3 a month, and every single dollar helps grow the channel. If you would like to see your name or business listed in the credits of every single one of my videos, please head over to patreon.com slash chsports.